we have to prove that the power loss in a pure inductor circuit is zero so for this we draw an inductor circuit there with the inductance L and this inductor is connected with a AC power source that is this and the voltage is V equal to V naught sin omega t and let the current in this circuit that is I so from this we can write that V equal to V naught sin omega t and we know that for a pure inductor circuit voltage that is equal to L D I D T where I is the ins instantaneous current in the circuit. So from this two equation we get L D I D T that is equal to V naught sin omega t. And from this we get that D I D T that is equal to V naught by L sin omega t. from this di that's equal to v naught by l sin omega t dt thus i that's the integral of this so it will be like integral of sin omega t dt here v naught by l is constant okay now after integration it will be like minus of cos omega t by omega okay Now this can be written as V naught by omega L cos omega t. That's equal to minus V naught by omega L. This V naught by omega L is the peak value of current. And cos omega t can be written as sin 90 minus omega t. Okay. And now if we put the negative sign in the this part. So it will be omega t minus pi by 2. Okay. Now this is the equation of current that is instantaneous current there and this is the instantaneous voltage here now you see the phase part there that is omega t here for voltage and for current it's omega t minus 90 degree so here always current is lags behind by 90 degree from the voltage so if we plot current and voltage versus time it will be like for first time the voltage versus time would be the plot of voltage versus time is like this that is V0 sin omega t curve and for current versus time that is I0 sin omega t minus pi by 2 it will be like lags by 90 degree from the voltage so it will be like this okay that is current so for this the phase difference between voltage and current is 90 degree so you can say that phi that is 90 degree or pi by 2 so the power loss in this circuit that is equal to p equal to vi cos phi this is the formula so vi here cos pi by 2 the value of cos pi by 2 is 0 so the total becomes 0 thus we get the power loss in the pure inductor circuit is 0